I'm standing on Digbeth High Street, looking towards Birmingham city centre. Actually, some people would say that I'm in Derret End at the moment, not Digbeth. But there seems to be some confusion over the matter, so for the purposes of this film, I'm in Digbeth. According to Wikipedia, the name Digbeth might have come from Duck's Bath, because apparently there's a river here somewhere. In order to honour Digbeth's heritage, I'd like to find this river and give my duck a bath. Digbeth is a weird place. It's a post-industrial, post-apocalyptic wasteland. A disorientating dreamscape of dereliction that was at one time a thriving industrial centre, the beating heart of Birmingham, the city of a thousand trades. Remnants of the area's industrial heritage are omnipresent, but any actual practitioners still operating here are few and far between. The most visible inhabitants these days seem to be street artists, seagulls, pop-up car washers, bohemians, budlier, sexual adventurers and guerrilla picnickers. I'm told there's also a substantial Irish community, but it does look suspiciously as though they're kept in a cage. The most intriguing parts of Digworth are, of course, the parts you can't get to. And, of course, the parts you can't get to are the parts most visibly marked by the people who have been there. Speaking of places you can't get to, I'm having great difficulty finding this alleged river. The River Ray. Actually, you don't spell it like that. Yes, that's correct. And if my calculations are also correct, then it's flowing directly beneath my feet. I'm standing in the location of an ancient ford, a crossing point that would have been crucial to the decision of Anglo-Saxon tribe leader Biorma to settle here in the 8th century, founding a small hamlet that would eventually grow up to become the city of Birmingham. It all started right here. And what do we have to commemorate this historic site? Why, a memorial to former US President John F. Kennedy, of course. I'd love to stay here to marvel at the intricate mosaic work, but it's cold and I'm hungry. There has been a marketplace in this location, in one form or another, since 1166, when Peter de Birmingham, Lord of the Manor, obtained a charter to hold a market here once a week. It was Birmingham's rapid success as a market town that paved the way for its rise to prominence as a major metropolis. The church probably looked a bit different back then. The manor house probably used to look a bit different too. The Lords of Birmingham lived here for 500 years, surrounded by a fortified wall and a moat. The car park is believed to be a more recent addition and it boasts the distinction of being one of Birmingham's most popular suicide spots. Don't worry, I'm just up here for the view. I thought I might be able to catch a glimpse of the River Ray, but that was clearly just wishful thinking. It should be down there somewhere. That's the bottom of the valley. Well, better go and have a look. The River Ray must have some serious self-esteem issues. How is anyone supposed to know that there's a river here? Presumably it's on the other side of that wall, that wall that's higher than a human. 
<sighs> well, perhaps if I stand on tiptoes and hold the camera over the wall, you'll be able to catch a glimpse of the river. Can you see it? What's it like? Does it really exist? Don't worry, Ducky. We'll get you down there. The ray can't hide from us forever. There are few things in this world that get my heart beating faster than the sight of a blue plaque. And this one is especially exciting. John Rogers, martyr, burnt at the stake, February the 4th, 1555. <laughs> Just across the street is the Custard Factory, which was built by Alfred Bird in the 1800s to make eggless custard for his wife. They stopped making custard here in 1964, and the building has since been transformed into a weird arty place. Bohemian, I believe, is the word. It seems a bit redundant to have an art gallery in Digworth, an area where a site such as this is a banality. I've come to the Custard Factory car park to have a look at the building who wears a tie and the chimney who has a face. But what I didn't realise is that this place would offer me my first proper look at the River Ray. Magnificent. And of course, copiously decorated by the accessors of the inaccessible. Hang on. Is that... a ladder? Oh, be still, my beating heart. I must go over there and have a look. Well, the ladder's on the other side of this massive wall, and there's not a chance in hell that I'm going to climb over there to get to it. For now, we'll just have to settle with a glimpse through this gap. O oh, Biorma, founder of this city, can you ever forgive us for what we have done to the Ray? In our arrogance, we have shunned it, banished it from our sight, channeled it under our streets like a detested sewer. Oh, this is not the proud Ray you once knew. I think I'll just have to accept that the Ray doesn't want me, and I don't blame her. I tried, but it's too late. It's much too late. I'm tired, and it will soon be getting dark. My time here is done. Now, how do I get out of this place? It's, uh, it's funny, I, I'm, I'm not sure where... Have I been this way before? It, it's, it's all starting to look rather similar. <laughs> what? Oh. Hang on. Wasn't I here before? Or was that a different giant orange octopus I saw earlier? Oh, shit. Oh. Oh. Oh, God, where am I? Why didn't I bring a fucking map? Oh, I'm... Sure, it was this way. Oh, let me out. This wasn't here before. Oh, Jesus, I'm gonna die in this place. Oh, oh, God. Oh, oh, ah, oh. oh, for fuck's sake. Oh. It's been six years since the collapse of civilization. The millions who died, they were the lucky ones. Budlia is now the dominant species. Those of us left must eke out whatever existence we can amongst the detritus of a dead empire. Some semblance of a society has started to emerge 
but it's primitive and volatile. The well-to-do live lives of extravagant luxury behind the walls of their fiercely guarded Mad Max-style compound. Cunts. Sometimes, when the hunger gets too much to bear and delirium takes me, I'm visited by my companions, and we eat heartily and make merry, and for a while, I am happy, my loneliness banished and my hunger satisfied. What on earth? Oh, that's embarrassing. Don't know what came over me there. It's not even dark yet. I guess I could stay a bit longer. Hang on. Is that... Biorma? Is that you? Oh my god. It is you. Oh, I knew you'd come. You look just like I always imagined you. Is that... The River Ray? Oh, Biorma, mighty warrior king, you are my light and salvation. Lead me, and I shall follow.